Hello again. We're doing permutations, and this is something that students generally find very difficult to do at first. It's not difficult once you get the hang of it, but I can see where it's a stretch for a lot of students. So the formula for a permutation is notated like this, where n stands for the number that you're working with in total, and r is what you want to take out of a specific uh, number or letter or whatever you're working with. p stands for permutation. And I tell students that it's this formula, but all they want to do is they say, is there a button in the calculator that you can use? I'm like, yes. Can you tell me? Not immediately, because I don't want you to learn it through the calculator. I want you to learn it. Uh, this reads n factorial. It's not an exclamation mark. It's factorial. And this is the quantity of n minus r factorial. And I'll explain what a factorial is momentarily. Now, on a permutation, order matters. That's not a factorial. That's an exclamation mark. Order matters. For these ones, though, it's a factorial. Let me explain. So I've got the word by, and I want to rearrange it as many times as I can to make sure that uh, I can see how many permutations I come up with. We're into combinations later, and people get the words combinations and permutations oftentimes mixed up. I'm going to show you what a permutation is. Remember that order matters. So I want to rearrange this word as many times as I can in any specific order. That's another example of rearranging the words, but I can rearrange it some more. So I put the B first and I rearrange the next two letters. I put the E first and I rearrange the next two letters. Now I'm going to put... the Y first and rearrange the first two letters. So I can write the word by six different times. But actually, you can figure that out with a permutation, too, and I'll show you how. So I want to find the permutation. I want to find how many times you can write the word by. So I'm working with three letters on my permutation where order matters, and I'm going to, my, my total is three, and I want to rearrange three of the letters. So my R is also three. N is the total that you're working with. R is what you want to rearrange, and I want to rearrange all three of these letters. Now, writing this out, it's three factorial, because the N is on top, over 3 subtract 3 factorial. For all intents and purposes, zero, is just, 0 factorial is just 1. So this is 3 factorial over 0 factorial, which is just 1. Uh, 3 factorial can be written as 3 times 2 times 1. That's all you really do. If it was 5 factorial, it would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If it's 3 factorial, it's 3 times 2 times 1. One. If it's 7 factorial, it's 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. You just basically start with that number and you keep going down. So it's 3 times 2 times 1 over 1. 0 factorial by definition is 1. That's 6 over 1. That's 6. You can rewrite the word by 6 different times. Now, I was going to choose a word like, uh, you know, uh, math, but then I'd have to rewrite that 24 times. And there's a reason why I know it's 24 times. Not just with this, but I also know because of the counting principle, too. Uh, let me do the word by again, uh, except instead of uh, rearranging uh, three of the letters, I want to see how many two-letter permutations I can make. So I'm going to rearrange only two of the letters. So I have three in total. I'm working with two. That's written as three factorial over three subtract two factorial. I'm going to find out what that equals. It's 6, again. Now you might argue that that's not in fact the case, but it really is the case, and I'll show you why. I'm going to re-erase this one and show you all the two-letter uh, permutations I can make. I can make by, be, yb, eb, um, what else? I did the B's first. EY and Y, which one didn't I do? E. So those are all the permutations I can make, six different ones. Pretty cool in its own right. Let's do one more like that while we're on the subject of it and see how it goes. I want to figure out how many one-letter permutations I can make from the word by. Now, that's not a trick question. 
So I'm working with three letters total in the permutation, and I'm only going to use one of the letters. Now I want you to think about this. If I'm using only one of the letters, how many different permutations can I make? I'm only using one letter. Let you think about that. Subtract one factorial. That's the same thing as three factorial over two factorial. Three factorial can be written like this. Three times two times one. Two factorial can be written like this. Two times one. Answer is three. So you say, no, that's not true. You can't make, well, let's see. I've got the word by. I can only use one letter. Okay, here's one permutation, B. Okay, that's one answer. Next one, if I use one letter, E. Can you name any other single letter that I can use in the word by? Probably not. So that's an example of permutations using that. I want to talk about it with probability next. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty fascinating in my opinion, but we'll see how you feel about it. Until then, have a good day. Goodbye.